Hello guys, welcome back. So for react of a wonderful day today, we're going to react to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season seven, episode nine. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. So we Based ended the last the episode with a cliffhanger. Shouldn't we stab him through the chest? Isn't that what we do when these things happen? Look, Buffy knows what she's doing. Well, Xander, you know what we're all talking about. I mean, you've always been part of the Spike is Evil faction. I've got a house to put back together. <laughs> it's Hi. busy. Xander, the heart of school began, holds the group together and mends them much like he's mending the house right now, but you would think that by now, Xander would have those measurements memorized as that poor window has seen some epic destruction over the course of the show. I mean, this is not the first time. <laughs> right, looking good. How do you feel? Good. I have to do work right now, can I just Walk around for a while in my coat. He sounds like porn, I did so I'm not sure if this my fault. It didn't is go it ghost worn or is this something else. I, God, I'm so confused about this whole thing this season. Why do I have to do all the wet work? Hey! You know the rules. I can't take corporeal form. <sighs> cool. It makes it's sense good. if he's a ghost. I just don't think I can kill anybody else. Oh, will you stop worrying about that? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think we're stepping in the ghost territory here. I think whatever was messing with Willow and Spike, and then you know, Dawn can take the form of dead people and mess with people's minds. So I'm not sure if Andrew is aware of that. I mean, I thought he genuinely thought that he was talking to Ghost Warren, but he is talking to Jonathan. So I'm not sure, I'm not really sure if he's just going out of his mind, just like Spike had, or... Man, this is confusing. It's my fault the ritual didn't work. I screwed up. I'm little. I don't have as much blood as other people. Don't worry. We're gonna You're fix trying it. to do a ritual and... Us. We know what we're doing. Jonathan's body wasn't enough. Tying him up. Make it tighter, and knots will give. I get free, someone's gonna die. I just want to tell you that Buffy won't be coming in today. She's really sick. Last night she was vomiting, and then this morning she was vomiting some more, and then just when we thought she was done, she started vomiting again. Her exact words were, I've got stuff coming out of both ends. Thank you. <laughs> I need to find him as soon as possible. He's not answering any of his numbers. Miss Summers, the Watchers Council does not keep track of our lapsed employees. Ever since Mr. Giles pulled up his stake somewhere, we've not made it our business to follow his every move. The girl knows nothing. And you know everything, I suppose? And we need to find Rupert Giles. Oh. What happened to my man? Oh no. I think you should probably... Here. Oh my god, Buffy, be careful. He's having some pretty bad withdrawals. I think we... Oh. So this is just a result of being so high on human blood. I thought for some reason that the big bad is back to control him or something. Need to get him some blood. Do you want me to kill Anya? <laughs> no. We should probably try to wean him off humans. He'll have to make do with animal blood. I'll go get some. Thank you. you yeah, remember? she's the only one backing her up right now. Everyone is like, no, we should probably kill Spike and but... Willow was like, she knows what she's doing, let her do her thing. Love it. Everyone knows you. You play by your own rules. It's kill or be killed. That'll do, pig! Oh my god! Stay between me and the hall or... Oh, pig! I'm not very good at stabbing. Isn't there some other way we could get blood? Right. You, you killed seven. Jonathan. You didn't have a problem with that. Eight quarts of pig's blood, three steaks. Um, <laughs> number 88. <laughs> well, me 
one of your last victims. Warren killed Tara. I didn't do it. And he was aiming for Buffy anyway. No, <laughs> I'm getting better, yeah. You think I get satisfaction from what I did? Maybe not, but let me keep my skin, okay? <laughs> let me bad. keep my skin. I'm not bad anymore. Oh. I'm good. Mm. I am bad. I'm bad. I'm evil. But I'm protected by powerful forces. Forces you can't even begin to imagine. I think he knows. Girl. I thought for some reason he, he doesn't know. He just, you know, <laughs> dumb <laughs> to not. <laughs> To not, you know, notice. But okay. <laughs> I am Willow. I am death. If you dare defy me, I will call down my fury, exact fresh vengeance, and make your worst fears come true. Okay? <laughs> Guess who was buying mass amounts of blood at the butcher shop? Hey, your hair's not even black anymore. <laughs> what are you doing back in town? Why were you buying blood at the butcher shop? I fell in love with a beautiful vampire girl down in Mexico. Now we're trying to make a go of it on the straight and narrow and put our lives back together here in Sunnydale. And now you want to waste my time with deceptions? Not on my watch! Hey, Anya! Can I talk to you outside for a second? Anya, what the hell? <laughs> Her inner savagery <laughs> just manifested. Oh my god. That spike is going through it this season. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, okay. I actually made him cry. You were perfect. I was worried I overdid it with the whole easy way, hard way thing. No, you were great. It's interesting how Zandon and Anya still have a sort of chemistry. I don't remember anything. I don't remember when I did. Nothing? So flashes here and there. It's like I'm watching someone else. When did your chip stop working? Wasn't whether it had, you know. There's, uh, there's a difference between how this big bad is dealing with Andrew versus Spike. Andrew's pretty much aware of everything that he's doing, but Spike wasn't. They talked about the ship not working, but last episode when he hit Xander, you could totally see that it still works. But it's not about the ship, it's about intent, like I said in the last episode. How'd you get your soul back? Saw a man about a girl. Traveled to the other side of the world, made a deal with a demon. Just like that? <laughs> no, yeah. not just like that. Pain, suffering, of sorts. Of sorts? Well, it's all relative, isn't it? Meaning? Meaning I have come Just so curious about it, like I love it. Redefine the words pain and suffering since I fell in love with you. Oh my. <laughs> How can you say that? You're feeling sorry for yourself, Spike? I'm feeling honest with myself. You used me. You told me that, of course. But Never he didn't, understood it. Yeah, he didn't get it back then. Not till now. Oh my god, I'm living for those conversations. Oh my god. Last episode in this one. Sorry about that. She shouldn't have hit you. They're gonna play good cop, bad cop. <laughs> there was this one guy. He, uh, he hurt her real bad. So she paid him back. She killed him. But she did it real slow. I was like, is he talking about himself? But she, he said she killed him. See, first she stopped his heart. Oh, I think he's speaking metaphorically here. <laughs> he's talking about himself. Some bad things have been happening. And the girls, they're all looking for someone to blame. It didn't do anything. You lying son of a bitch! You're gonna tell us what we need to know, and you're gonna tell us right now! Please, oh, no. come back! Come up, Harris! <laughs> Got ourselves a problem. Oh, don't deceive me. Oh, never he was seen? Who are you talking to? He was seen. Are you okay? Fine. No, no, he's uh, he's under the control. Ah! Oh. Needed more blood to activate this heal of dance. Oh. Oh. He's gonna kill him. Ah. Ah. Before you say anything, oh my god. Oh my god, this is so bad. I heard through the door he was having this conversation. And then he started singing. Maybe it's another musical. This, there's something about like that song. It's the trigger. The trigger. 
love it so much. <laughs> There's something about him. Principal of Sunnydale High School, not shady. Impossible. Excuse me! Wow. Did I hurt anybody? No. Nah. You took a good bite out of Andrew. Who? Tucker's brother. Okay. So you know Tucker's brother? Tucker? I don't. <laughs> what? From where? Do you know Tucker? Xander has this theory that you're being triggered. Kill me. What? Buffy, you have to kill me. Buffy, you've never met the real me. Believe me, I'm well aware of what you're capable of. No. You got off easy, too. Do you know how much blood you can drink from a girl before she'll die? Speck, what are you, you know? doing? Because it's not worth it if they don't cry. Like he sounds disgusted with himself. You're not he, he's disgusted with himself. You want to know what I've done to girls dance age? This is me, Buffy. Like, look at him. He's disgusted. He, he can't even stomach his own BS. You like men who hurt you. You need the pain we cause you. You need the hate. I don't hate like that. Not you. Or myself. Not anymore. You're not anymore. You think you have... You're not alive because of hate or pain. You're alive because I saw you change. Because I saw your penance. Window dressing. You faced the monster inside of you and you fought back. You risked everything to be a better man. And you can be. Oh my god! <laughs> you are. This is gonna be Kyle. You may not see it, but I do. I do too! I do. Oh my god! I believe in you, Spike. Holy moly. Come on, come on! I've waited so long for this. I just. I wanted just a few seconds to savor the beauty of this moment. Come on. She was calling him a man. That's all was needed. And I love the way they worked lights. They're incredibly crucial to their scenes. Love it so much. Again, come on, you just mended the house. Seriously, this poor house has gone through so much. This is not shady at all. Poor Jonathan. I just think that he knows more than he lets on and he's not a bad guy. He doesn't seem to be a bad guy. They look familiar. Didn't Buffy fought him before? I think I saw them before and then my head just... I remember something with the Christmas trees. Oh, amends. Wait, no way. Did they usually go through the same thing? He was hunted by dead people. And the thing about Miss Calendar. They were so fast. Where's Spike? Unorganized. They were after Spike all along. They took Spike? I know these guys. I fought them before. This isn't some demon. It's what all the same thing. Miss Countess said something ghosts. about the people that you guys saw. What was it? From beneath us. It's all the same thing. I know what we're up against. The first. The first evil, right? The first evil. Okay. Oh my god. I can't believe they introduced the big battle of the season in season three. Dude, and it explains that scene in the first episode with Spike seeing all, and how, fuck, I'm, oh, oh, I'm so stupid. I thought, oh, uh, since he has a soul and he's tormented, his, you know, his subconscious is manifesting as those, you know, big bads. I was way off, I thought, oh my God. 
Can't believe how wrong I was. Guys, tell me who figured it out before this episode. Wow, the fact like they already introduced this big bad, you know, as this the first of everything that is evil in this world and you know the essence of evil in this world. I mean it's it's crazy. It's not a demon, it's not a it's not a ghost. It's it's like <clears throat> the essence of evil. I still remember the conversation between Miss Calendar and, <laughs> and you know Miss Calendar and Buffy about how she's the first evil is something she can't even begin to comprehend or something, you know. Oh my god. It's funny how I interpreted the 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 ending of the first episode of the season, like <laughs> that was my own. It's so funny. They took our files, wiped out our records. We've lost contact with operations in Munich, Melbourne. The first evil is after the council. It's all right, Lydia. I remember Lydia. Isn't she the one who wrote an essay about Spike? First evil has declared all out war on this institution. Can you like share this with the Slayer? Seriously? My friends, these are the times that define us. Excuse me? Don't tell me it was a fucking council. What the fuck just happened? You blew it up. Oh, don't look at me that way. You're the one who couldn't hold his end of the bargain. You're the one who gets to do the honors. I have to admit, I'm glad it worked out this way. Buffy died. To be honest, so I'm getting a little tired of subtle. It can take its form, uh, her form. I think it's about time we brought some authority to our presence. Now, Spike, you want to see what a real vampire looks like? You want to see what a real vampire looks like? There's something that looks like the master. Almost. Yeah, it's worse than the master. God, this season is so interesting and very, very entertaining. I really, really love it. We're gonna dive in right to the next episode. So see you in the next video, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Sophie Reacts. Have a wonderful day today. We're going to react to you, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season seven, episode ten. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. It's a loop. Like the mummy hand. I'm doomed to replace these windows for all eternity. Yeah, maybe we should just board these things up until things are less hell mouthy. Are you sure this thing called itself the first? It claimed to be the original evil, the one that came before anything else. Please, how many times have I heard that line in my demon days? <laughs> I'm so it nearly got Angel to kill himself. And if we don't rescue Spike soon, God only knows what the first will get him to do. Yeah, first he tried with Angel, you know, make him kill himself. And now with Spike, interesting. Why? Why these two? Angel and Spike. Maybe he's just baking so he doesn't have to answer any more questions. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe he's in a fugue state. Don. What? He'll come to you when he comes to. When he gets to hit him. <laughs> hey, she hey, wants to hit things. Thank you. Hand me the Watcher's Codex again. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, baby? How about some tea? Are we serious here? Oh, you're the first. Oh, baby, you're so tired. You're not making sense. You can't win against this thing. Not oh, I'm getting rest. goosebumps. Stop. Stop being like this. You need to wake up. What? You're dreaming. Buff, wake up. Oh my god, she was dreaming of she was dreaming about Joyce. I feel like this is so <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh wow. I feel like since since she heard that Dawn saw Joyce, like she deep down wished that it was her and that she got to see Joyce and and now she dreamt about her. Oh my god. Dude, what are they doing with Spike? You were kicked in. You always liked that, didn't you? Kick a dolly when he's down. That was always your style. There, there, pet. 
soon as the moon comes, you'll have your carnage. Oh. Little girls cast Not this again. Got it coming, he does. I miss her. Dude, poor Spike is going through it. No way. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Nothing. But if you don't tell us what we need to know. Then I'm gonna offer you to the first on a platter and let him chop you into tiny pieces. The first what? The name of the evil thing that pretended to be warned to get you to kill Jonathan. Oh, not very ominous sounding. Well, no, they know, know about Jonathan? Wait, he told them? You got tricked by a fake ghost. Boys, can we save the encounter session? We need to cover this thing up, whatever it does. We can't leave it exposed like this. And they're not gonna ask about the body of Jonathan? Where is it? I mean, he Man, this left can... Jonathan there. So he should be asking about Jonathan for his body. Buffy. Hey. Hey. I thought that you were, um... Sick? <laughs> she was. You know, if you are feeling better, I could really use you back at work. I've been waitlisting kids who really want to see you. Well, I'll be there tomorrow. No problem. Good. Shady. So shady. You didn't see the first. I did. I felt it. It was like... Dude, what? Well, you only make me stronger. I don't want to hurt anybody. Please, Buffy, don't let it make me. Oh, God. We won't. I promise, okay? I promise. We won't use magic to fight this thing until we know what we're doing. I can't. I, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, this first evil was kind of scary. It wasn't really scary in the men's, you know, I, I didn't really get it back then and, you know, was taken the form of Miss Calendar <laughs> and, it, you know, it just didn't know how bad it is back then. Oh. Giles, nice place, bit of a mess. This is the Slayer? Sorry to barge in. I'm afraid we have a slight apocalypse. Why are these girls? All slayers? Potential Slayers. Oh. Waiting for one to be called. But they can't be called until Faith dies. And you know what we really need Faith right now, come on. The girl surrounded herself, and I'm sure that she's reformed. Get her ass out now and have two slayers, come on. The others were murdered. They were potential slayers? Oh my god. How can the first evil know that it's a potential slayer because some of the potentials don't know that the potentials until they become slayers like you know for example with Buffy she didn't know that she was a potential so not every potential slayer knows the truth about her we always feared that this day would come when there'd be an attack against not just an individual slayer but against the whole line it's started but that thing attacked you. How do you get away, Giles? To erase all the Slayers in training and their watches, along with their methods. And then Faith, and then me. It's the end. No more Slayer. Ever. No more Slayer ever? How can this be possible? <clears throat> because there are always potentials, you know? There's still some potentials that still don't exist, they're still not born. So, of course you can kill all the potentials, right? Because in every generation there's slayers. And it's not like they're connected by bloodline or something. So, in some way, I don't think they can cease to exist. The council, maybe the watchers, maybe. What about the council? What do they say about this? Gone. Gone. When I learned what was happening, I... I um... I stole <laughs> And you blew the council up. See, this is what happens when you're all stuffy and repressed. You overreact. Not... <laughs> I didn't. Anya! If the Slayer line is eliminated, and the Hellmouth has no guardian. The How can all... the Slayer line be eliminated? This is that I... This is something I don't understand, you know. If in every generation, there's the Slayer, and there's this potential Slayers just waiting for the Slayer to die. So it's an, an endless line, you know? 
if you eliminate every potential that lives in this generation, of course, others will show up in the next generation, right? If they're all connected by bloodline, okay, it's understandable, but, they can, but they're not connected. We need more muscle. That's why we need to find Spike. Yeah, and yeah. Faith! You know, if he's not crazy or off killing people or dead, or you know, all of the above. And don't make it worse, please. I don't understand why he's, it's doing this to, to Spike, come on. That's why Alkine makes it the dollars. Wait, is this has to do with the soul? Because first it was Angel, right? And this happened to him right after he got his soul back. Yeah, you know, for the f second time when he got back from the hell dimension. And now this is happening to Spike right after he got his soul back. Is this has to do with the soul? And this 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 season is making my, my mind work. I say what you tell and what you know. I say when this is over, and I'm not done with you yet. He doesn't, he can't even breathe. Why are we drowning him? You originally saw Wait, it. what? So it was a, a Christmas tree lot. Under it, there was a hidden. Yeah. Place. It happened to be under a tree lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was around here somewhere. Well, we'll just keep. Ah! Found it. <laughs> No. Oh my god, that was scary. Are you, you're fighting with a real vampire. We're fighting we're just copycats, you know? He can't die? He can't die? I thought he's a vampire! Is the wood thin in the chest just applies to the regular vampires? Oh god. Holy moly. Ay, 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 where's, where's Giles? Give a hand, where's, where's Giles? So the first shows up, and now this. Oh, yeah. Is that a coincidence? I think it's more likely that the Tora Khan is here as a, an agent of the first. Yeah, well, I already rechecked the basement. Wait, you know, hold on, I'm gonna try something. Dude, what are you? Manifestations of evil? She's writing a book. <laughs> yeah, I'm only saying that once you see true evil, you can have some serious afterburn. And then you can't unsee what you saw. What's this supposed to mean? You know what? I know. I, I feel like he knows about Buffy. He Think knows that she's a I know you like a good wriggle. And a giggle. And a squiggle. You're not Drusilla. <laughs> no. No. I'm really not. She was crazier than you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's not lying. It's He's nice. not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> this this Drusilla is more more laid back. <laughs> what do you say? Drew. Love. Oh. Get bent. Buffy, what happened? Uh, oh, uh, it's okay, Mom. Something evil is coming. Buffy, evil isn't coming. It's already here. Buffy, no matter what your friends expect of you, evil is a part of us. All of us. It's natural. And no one can stop that. No one can stop nature, not even... What the hell is going on with those dreams, oh, man? Oh, oh. oh what the hell is going on? on? I know what you're thinking, Andrew, bad guy. Uh, you think I'm a supervillain like Doctor Doom or no. Apocalypse no. Or, or the You're Riddler. not there yet. <laughs> but Done everything we can. And don't worry, everyone here understands that you're calling the shots. I just hope I'm calling the right ones. You have all my faith. And they're depending on you. Poor thing, too much. Giles, that's not exactly what I needed to hear right yeah. now. Guys? Boys? Annabelle split. Girl, seriously? Oh. Okay, another potential is gone. But it's not your fault. How can we kill this thing? 
Oh god. You can just sleep. How is it? Useless against it. Oh my god. up like this. Buffy. Oh God Almighty. It just left her there? Do you know why you're alive? Yeah, why why did you keep the slayer alive then? Whatever you are, whatever you get away with, I'm out. And what makes you think you have a choice? What makes you think you will ever be an This is not true. <laughs> Good at all in this world. She does because she believes in me. Oh, like the moment she said that, the moment she said that to him, it changed everything for him. Oh my God, this sweet we could took make toll on her. Giles, she looks bad. She does. I'm it's not fair to put everything on her, guys. And you know, yeah, she's the slayer, but. This bug is annoying me. Yeah, we know she's the slayer and all, but it's too much. It's not fair. I don't know if we can fight it. You're right. We don't know how to fight it. Can't pretend it's not the end, because it is. And something's always been there to try and destroy the world. We've beaten them back, but we're not dealing with them anymore. No, don't say that. Again, I know you're tired. I'm beyond tired. I'm beyond scared. I'm standing on the mouth of hell and it is gonna swallow me whole. No, don't be like this. Don't choke on me. We're not ready. They're not ready. I'm done waiting. They want an apocalypse. Oh, we'll get everyone. <laughs> this is Buffy. This is the hero that we know and that we love. There is only one. One thing on this earth more powerful than evil. And that's us. And he <laughs> girl, I probably die trying, but I fight with you, girl. I follow you. God, this season has some of the best speeches in the entire series. This speech portrays everything about Buffy. Self-doubt, vulnerability, determination. Strength, power, and hope. This is how you write a female hero. Even though at this point, it seems that there's no way, like there's no way to win, but she's ready to face the end and make the hell mouth choke on her. God damn it. And like, this is why, like the scene just screams why I love, love Sarah. Like she's one of the best actresses I've have ever seen. Like she's just astonishing, man. And Buffy is so inspiring and strong and brave. Like, even Giles was inspired. And when you consider how she started as this clueless teenager who didn't have a watcher, who wasn't considered, who didn't know that she was a potential, she had no idea about this world, and see what she becomes. Now, teaching us all about how to lead, how to inspire people, how to face challenges is just. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I need to go. I hope you enjoyed my, I hope you enjoyed my action and see you in the next video.